Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and in this video we're going to update the firmware in the ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star Digital Mobile Radio. My neighbor is kind enough to serve as cameraman, so my hands are free for this video. The radio shipped with the original version of firmware, so I went to the ICOM website, downloaded the firmware update, and I'll put a link down below to that in the description box where you can get the instructions for doing this and the actual software. If you want to check what firmware version you have in your radio, you come over, you press the menu button, and then you get an arrow key up and down here. We want to be on page three of three. Press other, information, and version. And as you can see, I have the original firmware in all the aspects of the radio. So we do need to perform that upgrade. Some important steps you have to make sure you do before actually loading the firmware is you want to install the USB driver for the data cable first without connecting that cable to the radio. So you connect your data cable to your computer, load the USB driver, and then it's ready to connect to the radio itself. Of course, when you update the firmware, you want to update all your channel information and memory information to the SD card. And then you want to make sure you've downloaded the correct firmware and put it on a folder on your computer where you know you're going to be able to find it and unzip it. And then you're ready to update the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the data cable now once we start stepping through the steps here and update the firmware. Okay, the first step here is we're going to turn power off to the radio. The instructions then say to rotate the squelch and volume knob for both VFOs to the 9 o'clock position. So we'll put those at the 9 o'clock position. And now we're going to connect the data cable which is already connected to the PC. Okay, now that the radio is turned off, the data cable is connected, we want to open up and execute the firmware upgrade software. What we're going to do here we're going to get a caution screen. We're going to agree to the terms. We're going to press and hold the quick button and then hit the power button. And it should boot up in firmware mode. And we're going to try to connect to the unit now. We're going to get the COM port. We're going to say OK. And now we're going to hit the yes button and upgrade the firmware. It's connecting. And we're getting a blue status bar here on the laptop showing that the firmware is progressing. Okay, the first part of the firmware upgrade took the better part of five minutes. Just when I thought it was completed, when we hit the 99% mark, the radio reset rebooted into firmware upgrade mode and it started a second round of firmware upgrade. So now it's saying firmware upgrade for the controller CPU. So we'll see what happens when it finishes this portion. But the point of me mentioning this is when it looks like it's done, don't shut anything off because the firmware upgrade software might start a second round of upgrades. I didn't see that in the instructions and it took me by surprise just as I thought I was finished and it started a second round. Make sure you have a good charge in your battery when you're doing this because a lot of updating can take place. And we're getting close to the second round of updates and we'll see what happens. Either the radio will restart and be completely upgraded or it may trigger a second round of or a third round of upgrades. 98 99, the radio reset, and now it's updating the firmware for the DSP. So it looks like the firmware software upgrades each section one at a time. So make sure you wait till each section of the firmware is updated. DSP software upgrades go much faster than the first two and we'll see if there's any more upgrades that follow for any other sections of the firmware. Okay, the DSP upgrade is hitting a 98% mark and we'll see what happens next with the firmware upgrade, the radio reset, and now we have a splash screen here that says firmware updating completed for the ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star mobile radio. And I'd like to say thanks to my neighbor, the cameraman, and as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a radio firmware upgrade video, and now we're ready to get operational with this radio in the field. More videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys.